All right, welcome back. It's still TV3 New Day. And speaking of TV3, uh, we are 22 years. Good news, right? So with a tagline, first in news, best in entertainment, TV3, since its inception in 1997, has given its viewers authentic and captivating television content. Here is a report on the TV3 journey so far. Good evening. Welcome to the maiden edition of the TV3 Evening News. In the headlines... It's an opportunity for Ghanaians to get alternative views, alternative opinions to those expressed by the state-owned media. For 22 years, TV3 has given viewers well-researched in-depth analysis of news and current affairs. TV3 now provides the entire country quality content in its diverse programming, but this has been possible with the hard work and dedication of its older new staff who have stood with the company through it all. When uh, we started uh, doing the indigenous programs like The Mentor, uh, like The Ghana's Most Beautiful, and then some current affairs program that won awards, like the Consumer Watch, that really filled me with a lot of satisfaction because these were all indigenous programs that were created by uh, the TV3 staff um, because we had moved away from uh, the very foundation year, the very first five years where our programs were dominated by foreign programs, especially the usual telenovelas that TV3 brought uh, to the country. The station and its quest to be excellent in broadcasting introduced the first touch screen in television broadcasting in Ghana. This innovation changed the viewing experience of its cherished audience. TV3 again was a pace setter when it launched its TVU solutions first in the industry to broadcast live events. We have watched TV3 grow to produce some of the most outstanding professionals in the industry and uh, anybody who watches TV3 gets a sense that this is a television station that can compete with any other high quality international uh, television station. It is a station that every Ghanaian must be very proud of and for which the National Media Commission is very proud. One asset TV3 prides itself in is its human resource. Over the years, the company has churned out excellent staff who continue to excel both locally and internationally. I can remember Anna Scorsa Brown, I can remember Patrick Yada joining uh, TV3 and helping. Besides them, there were these seniors, uh, Shandoff, then I remember, I remember Nat Lumumenu, who was head of the entertainment department then and who actually brought these younger folks on. But they, they actually started the whole of the, 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 the television station thing before others came in. Then we can talk of the younger generation also. You can't mention TV3 now without mentioning John Passa and uh, Steven, Steven Nete, and many others who also came through this school and even won awards for you know, their efforts. From local and international soaps and dramas to reality shows and live productions like Menta, Talented Kids, Music Music and Ghana's Most Beautiful, the station has produced content to suit its cherished viewers. So what should viewers look forward to after 22 years of content delivering by Ghana's premier private television station? Viewers should join us in our quest to dominate the media industry in Africa and beyond. <music>what a way to do a bit of a throwback just to see how tv3 started but before we even ask viewers what they think the way forward is for them especially um i'd like to introduce you to three of our bosses here at media general mr abraham Osari is the acting general manager tv3 news good morning sir thank you good for morning. joining me and winfred Afful is a group coo as well looking all dashing in his blue and happy belated <laughs> birthday by the way thank you we're still waiting for the birthday party so are we sure. combining this with 22 years of tv3 sure. 
for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Now, he's been touring the world. And, you know, for a while, I was pretty jealous. But thank God he's back here with us. <laughs> so he's part of the locals now. <laughs> Mr. Francis Doku, good yeah. morning. He's the group head um, for digital. Good morning as well. How's your trip? Ah, as you saw. Yeah, <laughs> as I saw, right? It was great. Anyway, so Mr. Abraham Asari, let me ask you first of all, what was the media landscape like? Many years ago, before okay, TV so three started. Okay, so 22 years ago, yeah. um, we had just uh, the national broadcaster, um, GBC TV at the time, mm. as the only nationwide broadcaster in television broadcasting in Ghana. Yeah. And then we have a couple of new private stations that were not too ahead of at the time. Then mm. TV3 came on board on the 22nd of, on the 1st of October, 1997. Yeah. Um, what I can say is that TV3 actually brought on board what uh, broke away from what was normal as you know uh, in the broadcasting landscape at the yeah. time because um, reporting from official them and that kind of thing tv3 did something um, very different mm. and reported on social issues that were not heard of for those who were in the cities they never saw um, bad roads they never saw broken bridges they never mm. saw uh, students uh, pupils learning under uh, under trees or broken yeah. uh, school blocks and that kind of thing learning on the floor and all that but tv3 then went to rock into reporting on these things in the yeah. news bulletins in fact the poor sanitation issues that that came and so that's what broke you know yeah. the way for tv3 mm. so um then people's eyes opened to tv3 and since then tv3 has been leading yes. uh, i mean from that time up to now, still number one in our news and entertainment. And so on this day when it was said, first in news, best, best in entertainment, that has been the tagline and the vision. From the beginning? Up, up to now. Wow. <laughs> that's impressive. Yes, now, I believe that about 10 years down the line, that's when Ghanaians got introduced to our own kinds of reality shows, the mentors and all of that. How, was, how easy was that? Well, um, <laughs> yes, to add. I, I think that one of the things that TV3 did from the beginning was very interesting drama mm. you know telling what we call telenovelas today yeah you know what started around that time with takapuko bay you know uh, smeralda you know and all oh, that yes. which was different from what was happening at the time so a lot of people got interested in it but along the line reality shows came <coughs> on i would remember the first mentor which was in around 2006 um around the time that the world cup in germany was was going to happen you know, I think that TV3 didn't have the right for the, for the World Cup. Mm. But introduced Mentor, and most people were rather watching TV3 instead of watching the football yeah. you know, at the time. So it introduced that, and there were other reality shows. GMB came on board and, you know, and all that. And the station has since been known as the number one reality you yeah, know, station. Yeah, there were some local know, dramas. You know, you know there were local dramas in between. Choco yeah. Trotro, you know, and uh, Ifira had its big name on TV3. And, 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 and another look at drama. So a putpourri of things have happened across yeah. time, you know, over the last 22 years, and which has helped TV3 to stand out as mm. the number one in all areas. Of, Definitely. Of I always say, I remember Anita Eskin when she would say, so you can vote on 8888. I think it was Mentor or Ghana's Was Beautiful. Yeah, it was Mentor one of at them. The time. And yeah. that got us, a lot of us, you know, talking about TV3 and Mentor and all of that. Good thing is Mentor is back and we even get into that. But let's talk about 22 years. What is the theme for this year? Actually, we want to dedicate this um, 22nd anniversary to our cherished viewers mm. who, have, who have come this long with us and also our clients. There were some of the clients where some of the co companies have even changed names. Yeah. The space phones and the one touch and the mobile tail and the bars. Mm. So some of them have actually also grown to bigger companies. Yeah. And then most importantly to, to our staff. We also want to dedicate this celebration to our new TV station that has been born out of TV3 mm. called Onia TV. Okay. And we want to reward our clients, reward our employees, and also our cherished viewers. Definitely. So there are going to be a lot of giveaways for this 22 day celebration. I can't wait for the giveaways actually. From 1st of today being 1st yeah. to 2nd October, it's all going to be giving away. Really? A lot of what are some of the things we'll be giving away? We'll be can staff that, we'll also share. take part in yeah, whatever? Yeah, staff can also take part okay. in that, yeah. what, what kind of things are we looking at? Um, so many things. Yeah. Um, for, for the clients, we are looking at, um, they being with us, what do we also give back to them? Exactly. And for our um, viewers, viewers yeah. some of them have been watching us all these years and making us leaders in our, in our market. And so we also want to reward them and for employees. It's going to be more of fun. 
Yeah. And so uh, I'll, I'll do the package for everybody. To see. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm, I'm definitely winning something. So this new phase has begun starting today. What is the direction? Um, for us, we think that we've been market leaders for all these years and we've been pay setters. And if we are celebrating 22 years, we should be proud of ourselves. Yeah. And also we should be able to look at what is the next level for us. Mm. And so as pay setters, we want to also move ahead Definitely. and continue to lead the market and move into other uh, regions. I like that you mentioned market share because mm. we want to know what is it like, what's the actual you know, figure on the ground when it comes to market share? Mm -hmm. Can we even share that? <laughs> we would want to know. We, we know we are no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think that, um, I mean, everybody in the space would have received or have access to the yeah. data that suggests that which station leads and all that. And over the last, if we just take this year, over the last okay. seven, eight months, CV3 has been the number one, I mean, year to date, mm. you know, which means that there's something that we're doing well. There yeah. have been so many stations. I mean, the fact is that at a certain point, TV3 was leading vastly, but there have been so many stations who are also doing very well. Yeah. But even in that situation, TV3 still remains number one, you know, channel. You know, we always pride ourselves to be the best reality house in the whole uh, mm -hmm. West African South region. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we do realities back to back. Definitely. And we are now doing GMB. Mentor is coming up. Yeah. It's a two bedroom house to give. Nobody has ever done that before. Mm. And also we have um, Ghana Stronger that just ended. We also had talented case that yeah. even won an CIMG award for the best program, awesome. TV program of the year. So we have a lot of things under our sleeves that will be out. out Did you miss yeah. that? Did I? Talented Kids was the number one yeah. television program in 2018. Yeah. Yeah. 2019 at the CIMG. Yeah. yeah. So I think he mentioned it, but, yeah. <laughs> but you have to emphasize. reiterate, right? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so we have something to show you even before we wrap up on this conversation. Take a look. And the more your problems multiply for you, I empty house and hold inside my heart. I want the room inside that is moving. Oh yeah, I'm on the high. see your home be a two, more sunny air. And from my Biafra, man, so my Gero, Gero. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, uh, go ahead, go on. Gero, 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 Gero living. What is the ill? What's that? What word is that? G A A A Y. Huh? Any day. No, go ahead, go ahead. Has come a new day. Has come. Feel the love, oh shira oto. Baby, I will be so sweet in a pumo. The way you are, baby, to bust in a konumo. Torment. And breaking news, I know Giovanni is also auditioning for Mentor this year, and so expect a lot more um, from him as well. But we're still talking about TV3 at 22. And from TV3, we've had Media General that has the likes of Onya, uh, we have 3FM, and so much more. How did we evolve from just one TV station to now Media General? Okay. Um, because TV3 was the main business then, uh, there was the need for us to also um, grow in the space. Because when you look at ad uh, advertising, you have 360 degrees. Mm. That means you, ha you need to have all the various platforms. But we looked at radio. Mm. We have 3FM uh, that's in Accra. We have a new FM that's also in Accra. And we have Connect FM that's actually number one in Takra Day for, mm. for this month. Awesome. And then we have uh, Akuma FM in Kumasi that we launched um, early last month. Okay. Um, if you look at the space, we also have um, MG, MG Digital, so we have 3 okay. which is which is mostly referred to as the Tilapia website. <laughs> <laughs> That's where people go to first in the morning to see what, ha what does Tilapia, Tilapia have for them for, for the day. It's quite humorous but educative. And so Media General... And of um, course, we also have APL, uh, yeah. and some Productions yeah. Limited, yeah. which is a yeah. production house, yeah. mm. and produces not only for us, but for other, other clients. Too much out. happening here at Media oh, General, yes. man. Yeah. Yeah. Even including <coughs> the Foundation. 
Okay. Yeah, where we support the Holy Heart and other um, corporate social uh, 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 initiatives, mm. which is also contributing massively to our society and humanity. Um, for us, we think that we we need to be we need to make a very huge impact mm -hmm. in in the, the Ghanaian space and yeah. even beyond. And so, therefore, we pride ourselves of having all these platforms. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. And Christmas is coming, so I believe that there's so much more to expect. First of all, how long is this celebration, even before we move into... It's for 22 days. It's for 22 days. Second yeah. Okay, <laughs> so every single day there's going to be a giveaway. It starts on a Tuesday and ends on a Tuesday. Okay, <laughs> that's so, interesting. Suffice it to say that being a 22nd year, I mean, it's a celebration all through the year, yeah. but the focus yeah. of what will happen is you know, within the next 22 days. Definitely. Because, yeah, significant of the number of years that we It is. Yeah. But it, Christmas it, as well. Just referring to the video you played about yeah. Nanto. Um, the idea is that we have contributed immensely to the creative art industry in Ghana. Mm. And for us, we think we will give opportunity. We help people develop their talents. And so, even in the event of people who don't have hope, yeah. we create various um, 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 reality shows that gives them an opportunity for them to also bring out the skills and, mm. and, 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 and uh, hidden talents in them. Okay. So I think that's the opportunity we've given people in Ghana. Definitely. And a lot of lives have been changed. Yeah. And exactly. I'm looking forward to many talk, more talk lives getting lives changed. Yeah. changed. And I, I, people are emotionally attached to TV3 because of what TV3 has done mm. for them or to them. In fact, you can talk about, I am referred refer to 3 Foundation, you can talk about people whose kids maybe had heart, hole in heart issues yeah. and didn't know where to, to go for funding to be able to go on, you know, for the operations and all that. Through our stories, you know, people have come forward. And I think we should thank those people Definitely. who have also contributed to giving life back to those who are almost losing it, you know. So um, there's some, that's why we are number one. You people remember have, also, let there be light. Let you there know. be light, you know. <laughs> I, you know, some communities which don't have light. Some mm -hmm. of our campaigns have resulted in people having street lights, especially from, from the police headquarters to, to GIG, yeah, yeah, where, yeah. where students of the GIG were being robbed and attacked in, you know, during the night because Definitely. it was so dark. But we were able to light up that street, you know, through yeah. some of our, our even smaller platforms like yeah. radio, mm -hmm. you know. And so I think that um, these, these are the things that contribute to people making us number one. Definitely. Keep watching us and not going to think. Keep watching us. And, well, this Christmas as well, there's going to be a lot of excitement on our TV screens. And we're waiting for information on that. So I'd let my bosses be the ones to tell us. What is that for Christmas? It's just, what, two months away? It's two months away. I mean, I think that uh, what TV3 has done over the years is to try to engage our audience and also our clients mm. to to give away. You know, Christmas is, is to share love and everything. And the station... And all the stations in the group have tried over the years to, to give away. And yeah. this year will not be a session. Mm. I mean, we have very good content, TV content, radio content, digital content that we would introduce very getting close to the time. We have also other events that, um, that will come around the Christmas period. One okay. of them is we're still planning and almost done. Yeah. We're having a very big concert okay. at the Dome, at the Trade Fair, the Fantasy Dome, uh, with 3FM. Three, three you know, and some of the other supporters, mm. among other things. So it will be Fun Christmas on TV, Fun Christmas on the ground, yeah. and Fun Christmas where we share a gift with our people, with the support of the clients that have, you know, been helpful to us over mm. the years. So our viewers, our listeners, our readers online should expect fun Definitely. around Christmas and a lot of things that we'll share with them as well. And go ahead and share with us what you love about TV3. If it's the programming, the people that you have interacted with, whatever it is that you remember about TV3 that makes you love us even more, go ahead and share with us via social media at TV3 Ghana. And there's so much more coming your way. So one more time, let's reiterate that TV3 is 22 years and there's giveaways for the next 22 days starting from today. And so you get to, of course, uh, get something lovely for yourself. The theme for this year is the audience, of course, and also um, the clients, the clients. clients yes. so we're focusing on you so make sure that you don't miss out on this celebration as it will be raining gifts right here on TV3 thank you so much to my bosses by mm -hmm. the way uh, there's a second part to this interview I think we'll have to do that uh, much later before we wrap up on the show today so keep watching so you find out what it is but Mr. Abraham Asari is the acting general manager for TV3 News Mr. Winfred Afo is the group COO and we have Mr. Francis Doku who is the group head for digital thank you so much for joining us mm -hmm.